Hi, my name is Nikki and welcome to my channel where we get nerdy. Um, so this video <laughs> is going to be talking about Bookopolathon, which if you do not know what Bookopolathon, it is this wonderful thing that uh, Becca from Becca in the Books, I will have it down below in the description, she does this fantastic thing where it's a readathon based off from her TBR game. So for 48 hours, there was different prompts that you were to read accordingly. Um, you did not have to do all of the prompts. There was eight prompts total. Um, there were roll drops every 12 hours. Yes. Yes. Every 12 hours. Um, but before we, before book up a thon started, um, like a couple weeks ago, she told everyone that the first two prompts were dark cover and a fantasy, which, okay, I can, you know, easy enough. Um, so Bookopolathon started for my time zone Friday night at eight o'clock at night, and it went until last night at eight o'clock at night. There was live sprints the entire time all 48 hours. There were a group of um, YouTubers that came together that took graveyard shifts and there were games and it was oh my, amazingly fun. I have done book sprints before but never a 24 a 48 hour period worth. I did not stay up the entire time. I went to bed at 10 o'clock both nights. I uh, set an alarm for midnight so I could swap streams so they would so I would still have like the viewer points um and then set an alarm for four to <laughs> swap streams again um and I woke up at four so I slept 10 to 4 the past two days in order to participate in book up um which um everyone's the to be considered successful in book up it's to have fun that is the whole purpose of Book Uplathon, and that's why I love it. Uh, and in... Uh, did I have fun? Yes. So I was successful. Um, and I have a lovely stack of books here that I'm going to talk to you about. So for my first, for the first prompt of being a dark cover, I read Escaping from Houdini. Which, okay, it's like, not dark, dark. I get it. Like, it's not a black cover, but it's close enough, in my opinion. Um, and I brought it up on the Discord. Um, that is for Bookopolathon. And everyone agreed that, okay, it fits. Um, and I only had only, like, 150 pages left, so that's the lovely thing about Bookopolathon. You can read books that he had started previously, and it still counts. So I finished this book. I can't remember when, but I finished this at some point, <sighs> which if you've been around my channel for a while, I am absolutely in love with this series by Carrie Maniscalco. And this one has gotten the lowest rating from me so far. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there was, there was murder. There was intrigue. There was beautifully written things. Hence the little tabbies. Every time something was described that I liked the way it was described, I tabbed it. Um, there was not enough Thomas, in my opinion. I love Thomas. And it's like Audrey Rose forgot who she was completely and just threw all caution to the wind and just... She had her wild, crazy, rebellious stage in this book and... I don't think it was a good idea with a serial killer running around. Just, but it kind of also made me feel like that the publisher really wanted the book to like keep readers. And so this was rushed. That's how it felt to me. Uh, did I enjoy it? Yes. I gave it a four out of five stars. The other two previous to this got five stars each. Absolutely loved them. And I have already started book four, Capturing the Devil. And, uh, I'm not that far into it, and I've already got a bunch of tabbies, because I just like the way she describes things. Um, 
once I'm done capturing the devil, I will discuss, I will have like a spoiler alert, big flashing red lights. Do not watch this video if you want to read this series because I'm going to discuss it with no holds barred and I'm going to bring up all the dirty little tidbits of the entire series so that I can get it out because no one I know has read this series so I have no one to talk to about it. Other than this one person that I found on Instagram, uh, we follow each other. Uh, we both like bookish things and I keep messaging her just, I don't even know her name. I message her all the time about it so I can just have something to, yeah. So there was like 130 pages in this that I had read. Um, prompt two, a fantasy. But this also covers the POC representation. So this is Seven Deadly Shadows by Courtney, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, I'm sorry, Alamadea and Valen E. Maytani. I'm so sorry with the, the pronunciation of that. Um, so this book, as you can see, there's little tabbies for things that I have liked so far, except this one. It's for the glossary because there's a glossary in the back for the um, Japanese terms that are in it. Um, it's blurbed on the back as, I am a girl surrounded by monsters and ghosts from an ancient world. Most days, they scare me less than people do. Um, so, I don't want to give away any spoilers in case anyone wants to read it, but if you like bleach or um, yokai, what was, my son watches yokai catch. This is like the older kid version of that. Uh, so Bleach, I always suck at pronunciation. Inuasha? Yeah, butchered that. It's a manga. Um, Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, Spirited Away, Princess, Mononoke. Yeah, yeah I, I'm sorry with the pronunciation. Uh, Seven Samurai. So this is, there's Yokai, there's Shinigami, there's... All of that lovely Japanese legends, mythology, whatever you want to technically call it, it's all in this. And I, this is the way I take it. This is the Percy Jackson young adult for the Naruto and One Piece and... Bleach, like the anime manga lovers, this is the Percy Jackson version, in my opinion. I will let you know how I feel about it as I get further into it because I'm only 62 pages, but it, yes, I love it already. Next, contemporary set in present day. So this covered two prompts, by the way. This covered prompts. Uh, fantasy and a person of color representation. Then we have contemporary present day. Two more prompts in which we have Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I have seen this movie quite a few times. I thoroughly enjoy this movie. Uh, this book I should not have started as late in the night as I had. First. Second, I should have had a piece of paper next to me to write the flow chart because even though I have read, I have watched this movie a few times. I still get lost on the characters. Like, who is, like, who is, who's significant other and how they're related to this person and that person. I get lost every time. So, that's my only issue with this so far, is that there's so many characters that I'm lost quite a bit. 93 pages into this, so not too bad pretty successful. Uh, next is first in a series. Uh, which I said earlier about seven deadly sh sins, you know, Percy Jackson. I like those kinds of stories. Why it should not be a surprise that I had started reading Magnus Chase. I know I don't have the dust jacket. It got ruined. Um, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard by Rick Riordan, The Sword of Summer. This is the first book in the installment. I got to page 276. 
if that gives you any inclination on how I enjoyed this. Um, how can I say it without... Mangus Chase, Magnus Chase, Magnus Chase, not Mangus, Magnus. Magnus Chase <laughs> breaks that barrier between the book and the reader. So it's not just like you looking in, like he actually will talk back to you and it's fun. That I thoroughly enjoyed. It, there's the mythology part of it too. Like, who doesn't love hearing about Odin and Thor and Loki and Freya and Frigg and Frey and like, when I was in school, we did not learn about this nowhere near as much as we learned Greek, Roman, and Egyptian. So my first introduction to Norse mythology was the Marvel movies for Thor. And then now I am diving down a huge rabbit hole and I don't want to be taken. <laughs> I don't want to leave ne uh, Wonderland. I absolutely love this. Um, I enjoyed it. It's a great book. I'm going to be finishing it. And I recommend it to people that love mythology to if you are so, even if you do not like the Percy Jackson books, but you like Norse mythology, you will like this. Um I bought my cousin a set for her birthday a few weeks ago and she's already finished the entire set. The entire series. There's three or four books. I can't remember. I don't know. I can't remember. I bought her the entire set. She loved them. She finished them, like, within a week. So, next was a chance card. So, Bookopoly is designed like Monopoly, and you have community chests and chance cards. So, the chance card was, like, take different names of books, stick them in a hat, and draw one, and that's what you read. I didn't do that. I told my nine-year-old son to go in his room and bring me a book to read. He could pick any of the books he owned. Any of them. And he brought me this. I survived the Nazi invasion 1944 graphic novel. And it is quite the graphic novel. It does not... Someone bought this for him for his birthday... And I was kind of hesitant. He hasn't read it yet. And he's nine. And I'm not quite sure I'm ready to have that discussion with him about Nazis and genocide and all of that. Because I'm not sure he could handle it, to be honest. But yeah, this book does, it, it may be for young readers. They don't hold back at all. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, highly recommend it. Five out of five stars. And I know that they have like this is just one of a huge series like there's the i survived books that are like your magic treehouse size um but then there's they started doing these graphic novels and holy hannah <laughs> amazing really well done wonderfully illustrated and they they sugarcoat but don't sugarcoat at the same time so, yeah. If you are a parent or you are have a loved one that is in that age where you know they're going to start learning it in school. Yeah, pick it up. There's also like the Titanic. I survived the Titanic. Uh, I survived the Dust Bowl. Like there's a ton. Like, yeah. I highly recommend it. And then the, the last prompt was other. So this is, you are to read a book genre that you do not typically read. I don't have many books that are something I wouldn't pick up. They are all something that I purchased 
for myself because I have the intention of reading them. It's not one of those someone gifts, gifts me books and I have no intention of reading them. Because people don't buy me books, first off. Um, and if they do buy me books, it's off Amazon wish list, and so it's something I want. So I'm like racking my brain as to what is something that I would not normally read that I have access to. Uh, usually, I would say sci-fi, which I read Ender's Game earlier this year. Uh, yeah, I was not rereading that for Bookopolathon. So, I read a cookbook. <laughs> I read the manga cookbook. Um, which people on the Discord are like, that's actually a really good idea. In all the book, all the readingathons I have ever done, I have never seen anyone think of picking up a cookbook. But I did. I read this cute little manga cookbook. Um, it's. Let me get past the glossary. Hold on. It's a hundred and twenty-nine pages, and of course, it's illustrated. It's like a manga, but I absolutely loved it. It made me really hungry. <laughs> so anyone that are, if you know anyone that is a fan of manga or anime, recommend this to them big time. Um, mm -hmm. It was a great read. It was fun. It was nice to break up some of these other books because like yeah they are not necessarily heavy or dense um it was just a lot easier to flip through reading recipes and how to do it like even oh and I did listen to one audiobook I listened to an audiobook because I wanted to give scribed a um chance yeah I clicked on it just because it was just a little over an hour, and I'm like, okay, it's a quick audiobook. It's a novella. It counts. I didn't realize it was um, an adult, very adult audiobook until I had already started it. And that was just awkward. So, yeah. Bookopolathon was fantastic. I loved it. I cannot wait until the next... Whoever does Reading Sprints next. Um, and in a few days here, there will be another Beacon Book Box unboxing because I got the email this morning that the March box has shipped. So... That will be here soon, which I'm really excited for. Um, yeah, so, if you liked my video, make sure you click the like button, subscribe, and get the notification bell. If there is some book recommendations that you want to see me read the book and tell you how I feel about them, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you've read any of these books and you want to give me your personal opinion on them, let me know. Uh, don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, at gdxnikki. Um, and then we have our April TBR coming up, which April TBR, we have to decide what BTS member we're going to go with for the BTS reading challenge. And I think I can get one of these books that I had already started to fit our 2021 reading challenge. So... Stay tuned. <laughs> With that being said, have a good day.